right. We are going to do five fan mail letters. Or maybe more, I don't know. But I have at least five I want to do tonight. So... I don't know if anyone will be joining tonight, but we shall, uh, see. So I think it's just in about uh, two weeks. Um, there we are. Who wants to be tonight? All right, I finally decided to work this time. Yeah, there you go, hey, man. Yes, hey. Um, I finally got an actual good picture printed of Casey Affleck. Now I need, um, what do you usually write? Like, what would you write on, on it? Well, what I usually write, I just, I, I just say, hi, uh, hi, Casey. My name is Peyton's name. You don't have to use your last name, but you just say what, what your name is, uh, what you're a big fan of. And at uh, the end... I always write on almost every one. I'm such a huge fan. I'm, I was hoping that you could sign this picture that is inside this envelope. If you like, you can make it out to me, your name. You can send it back to this address. Okay. I feel like not that many people really know Casey Affleck like, anymore. It's kind of sad. Yeah. Yeah, tomorrow I'm going to see Dune 2 in theaters. I'm excited. You may have saw, but I did get something, some kind of request or uh, response that was inside this envelope. Was it on your channel? Yeah, I, I but it's not on there now. I'm going to upload it uh, tomorrow morning. Ah, it's okay. Uh, okay. I've been trying to text you all day, Rat Dog. Was, you been good or something? Uh, oh, you was? So, oh. Yeah. In just a few, actually in two weeks, is Autism Awareness Month. I think it's it's October, oh, or April, right? It's around that time. Yeah. I'm always talking about, most of the time, I talk about my diagnosis and to some of the famous people. I wrote one for this person because they did an episode on the show. I know I'm probably going to get laughed at about this, but you know what? Hey, it's worth it. You know what? I'm a little kid inside me sometimes. I got a Sesame Street autograph signed by Alan. Oh, oh shit. Um, I mean, that's... He plays uh, the, uh, the guy who works at the store. And he, so, and this was a screenshot from the episode I was uh, referencing to him. Which I thought was coincidental at first, and he sent me a second one. But then, at first, I thought this was an advertisement or something, or just like a catalog. But he sent me a book about autism. Oh, that's. And I read this thing, and it literally explains it. it Describes in so much detail what it is. Um, I don't even know if this thing is in stores. If it's not, it definitely should be. So, made he definitely made sure that, that was personal. That's awesome. That only took uh, five days, actually. I, I sent this act today. Actually, I sent this. Uh, 
when I went to the convention and I got it today. Oh, yeah, that's it, it, definitely. And I got all that for free. Whoa, 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 whoa. My computer is shit in the bed. Well, dude, I just got this like a week ago. It says no bootable device hit any key. Look at this. This thing is so fucking odd. No bootable device hit any key, and this isn't no screen or nothing. Oh. What the fuck? No free start system. Yeah, my, my, my work computers do the same thing. The one I use at work. They need to update those. Oh. Dude, what the fuck? Dude, this looks like the damn thing that fucking... Fucking Jack Torrance was writing in The Shining. Oh. Dude. Jeez, is that gonna help? Oh my. Um, so how was your guys' day today? Uh, All right. Other than this, I, everything's fine. Every, 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 everything's been good. Oh my, my god. My other computer was slow, but it didn't do this fucking shit. Well, I like your um, new pictures on pasta. Oh, on Instagram? Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I was at the library. I actually got two books. Where the, where the hell do they even go? I actually did get another response today. Uh, why this one was all crumpled up? It looked like it was run over by a truck. I don't know why, but other than that, though, it's cool that this one was signed. That was Mimi Rogers, who did oh, uh, uh, Ginger Snaps, the movie. You got that back fast. Yeah, I sent that about a month ago, I think. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck? Boot manager? Yeah. I, I oh, have and, 30 days policy. And he signed my uh, the original picture that I sent over. Um, Dude. So I got three autographs from him. Dude. Well, what is happening? I got an autograph. Way back to gonna fucking break this thing. Who's that? She looks familiar. One of my favorite um um countries um singers um Lee Newton. Oh, I I thought that it looked like a Hayden Panettiere. Oh, yeah, the, that actress from a uh, screen. Oh, no. Bring me back to the same thing. I'm about to punch this fucking computer screen. What to do on new... <laughs> what to do on no bootable device screen. Yeah, dude, this computer is fucked. Fuck. Oh my god, man. We're going to do five letters tonight. So, first stop is Charles Schiffer's from Halloween. Oh, wow. Who was he? he did the scene. In Halloween. He, he was the sheriff in the original Halloween. And then. With the mustache and, and ball. Mm -hmm. And then, 
then in Halloween 2, and then he reprised his role in Halloween Kills. I still have not watched it, but I have a steel book up. I know he does a lot of conventions, but as far as I know, he hasn't done a private signing yet, so. Hey, let's see if we can get one for free. You know who the kid is from um, from Halloween? The one uh, that had the clown mask? I can't remember what his real name is. Uh, no, that's not... No, t t Tony Moran, what I think was the stunt double. I I can't remember what his real name is. I think Will Sandin. I think Will Sandin is his name. I think. We, of course, even have, as I had this for two years now, Lori Strode, Jamie Lee Curtis herself. Um, oh, wow, that's her. a good picture. Um, it was an eBay auction. I got it for only $40. So. Wow. Because she never does conventions and most likely will never happen.
can't hear you. Yeah, my mic. Me either. Oh. I was going to say, it's stuff with quiet. Have, have, have anybody seen the X Files? Yes, I love that show. Oh, oh god! There's still a couple more seasons I need. I need to watch. I'm, I'm getting there. I'll be back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I have. Yeah, I haven't seen that show since since I was younger. You know, they, uh, they brought, they brought it back for two seasons. I, I think after the, the last one they did, they canceled it. So I don't know how it ends. So I, I need to check out the last seasons. Oh, Charles Shippers is completed. On to another Halloween star, PJ Souls, who plays Linda in the original Halloween. She also, I believe, made her film debut in the 1976 classic Carrie. Wow. Oh, and she played a teacher in the 2018 movie. You can just hear her voice, so... <laughs> Again, another one who does conventions, but just hasn't done a signing yet, so. I'm D. I'm D. Do um, um, meaning great. Meet and greets. Yeah. I've only done done them through virtual. Um, I w oh. want to try to do them in person. Then. Hey, Christina. Same um, last same last name as my ex girlfriend. I know. Uh, Christina is a very good friend of mine. Actually, Christina, I called you earlier. Um, I went ahead and I already told him, but I'll, I'll, I'll say it again. So, a fan mail response came in. Um, it was in this big envelope. It's crazy um, because um, I sent this letter back actually in a, on Saturday. And five days later, it came. Very fast. Um, I already know who it was because it was on a address right there. Well, this was signed 
by someone from Sesame Street. It's signed. It's signed by the guy who plays Alan. That's uh, cool. Who works at the store. And um, I actually wrote to him about my autism because uh, he uh, there was an episode they did on the, of the show about it. Um, Christina, you're gonna love this. I cannot wait to tell Jessica. Um, so he he also signed the picture I uh I sent over. But he also sent me a third autograph. This was a screenshot from the, the episode about autism. Coincidence? I thought at first, that is, that is. Until what I saw what else he put in this thing. At first, I thought it was like a pamphlet, like, like you know, uh, like a catalog, kind of like a thing. But no. He sent me, he actually sent me a Sesame Street book. That's about autism. Wow. So, and I, I, Christina, I read this book today. I actually read it twice. This book is amazing. I, I don't even know if this book is in stores. I don't know if it, if it isn't. It should be. Um. But um, I'm going to actually read this book, actually, because Autism Awareness in a Month is around, actually, next month. So I'm going to maybe, maybe I can read it on the live or something. Um, that's super cool. Definitely made that one personal. Yeah, but that's why I, I called you earlier. Um, I, I'm assuming you were busy earlier, so um, that's what I wanted to tell you. Actually, I um, talked to Jessica earlier, um, actually, actually before I came home, um, before I even got this. Um, usually, I... I don't do the calls twice, but for the heck of it, I just went ahead and did it because I just couldn't wait. But, uh... All right, back to my next letter. This guy's expecting me to take the take my damn computer apart. I don't have the damn proper equipment. Oh, oh. All I got is this. Oh. Well, what's wrong with the computer? Like, what's it doing? It's been fucking up since day one. I. Mm. It's on this no boot pay no. What is it called? No, no bootable device. The screen's been on for, and now my fucking PlayStation is saying the Wi-Fi is disconnected. Oh my god, my TV does that all very often. Wi-Fi connected. Lost. Then... Lost. How is this still working? And then, like a minute later, it just disconnects. I'm like, "Come on! I have Wi-Fi. I paid. My bill is paid." I think everyone in this speaking house. Of my, I think speaking of speaking of bill, house. my bill is paid this month. I hadn't paid it yet, but I will on my next payday. So I'll be a couple days late, but you know what? Comic Con happened. Yeah. I don't know if. Uh, Jessica sent you the uh, Comic Con video, uh, Christina, but it's up. It's up on the channel now. I can't remember if I sent you the video, but 
If I don't know, I'll, I'll send it to you at the live. Dude, this fucking kid in, in my school, he is... Oh my fucking god. What, what does he do with it? Uh, I don't know. Alright, where am I at now? Okay, so Paul Schiffer's, uh, he's done. So I now, DJ Soul. It's funny too. To, uh, <laughs> and it, it was most likely because it was going to be um, Jamie Lee's final uh, Halloween movie. Uh, the week uh, Halloween Ends came out, the, the original Halloween went in the theaters. Normally, I don't go see old. I don't pay to go see old movies that I've seen multiple times when I just put it on the TV for free. But I'm like, you know what? Come on, that's the that she's the queen of screen. Such a classic movie, and it looked outstanding on the big screen. So, and me and my grandfather were we were the only two people in there, so it was just amazing, you know, hearing, you know, the John Carpenter score. On those speakers, you know, the <laughs> so amazing. Oh, oh, I like your um, t shirt. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, speaking of Carrie, <laughs> um, what's her name was also in the, in the most recent horror movie, uh, Imaginary, uh, Betty Buckley, who played the gym teacher. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I didn't even know she was still alive, but she still looks good. She looks very good for her age. I think she's, she's like 75 now, I think. It's us three, I guess. I. Yeah. Uh, uh, 
Christina, the girl that was on, that was just watching, uh, she's on a TV show called Extreme Sisters. Her and her sister, uh, Jessica. Oh, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, are you familiar with Cameo? Um, yeah. I, All right, yeah. mm, I do, I do have a, mm, I do, do have a, um, cameo. Hmm. But that, that's how I met them. And you know, we just became good friends ever since. Oh. Uh, uh, and a certain secret, I can't reveal what that secret is as of right now. Something is going to happen. I can't, I, again, I, I cannot say what that is right now. Uh, um, originally, this event was going to happen in June. Uh, we have to postpone it, so. That sounds like fun. I, I swore to secrecy as of right now for it, so I'm, I, when am I going to announce it? I'll figure out when the good time is. Oh. It's gone. No more computer. It's gone. I just shot it. Fucking thing. Why'd you shoot the computer? Shit wasn't working. Um. Oh, uh, went through my can of Pringles too. I see. See? Oh. Oh wow. Got the can of Pringles too. Mm. Not what I was aiming for, but went through through the laptop. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, this fucking thing's garbage now. Mr. Eagle, what's going on? DJ Souls is completed, so now on to 
right. Now on to uh, Steve Carell. Wow. Well, Steve Carell is best known in the TV show The Office. I've never seen a single episode. I think I need to. He also did a movie called The 40-Year-Old Virgin, along with, uh, what was that movie called? Evan Almighty. I think most people forgot about supposed to be a, a sequel, a standalone sequel to Bruce Almighty. Oh, I've seen those. And yes, Christina, if you're still on, I did send a fan letter to Jim Carrey, so hopefully he'll respond. Who knows? Um, what else did he do? For some reason, I kept mis mistaking him or um, Mr. Bean, Rowan Atkinson. Um, I don't know. You got me. I, I don't know why. Sort of looked a little bit like him. I, probably when I saw the trailer for Mr. Bean's Holiday. Oh. I just kept mistaking him for... I'm actually just pushing buttons to see who's on, who isn't. And no one's on right now. Brandon, what time is it where you're at? Um, 10. 10 o'clock. 10.36 where I'm at. Same here. So um, you're in the Eastern. Yeah. Everybody comment down below or let me know, what is your favorite Steve Carell movie? I think mine's always been, hey, Jessica. Oh, Jessica. I'm so happy you're here. Um, I actually called again earlier. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say the story again. Um, I actually called again. Um, and um, the reason I called was... Um, I did get a fan mail response. It was inside this big envelope. Is she still on? She is not on. She must have a call. Well, he's cute. Yeah, that's that's her. That's uh, Christina's sister. Oh wow. Well. Yeah, they, they do it they, they do a job like a a phone kind of like job, so that most likely means that she's on the uh doing a phone call.
Is he still trying to break that computer or something? I don't know, probably. That's someone else's on that. I can't see who it is. You know who um, um, Mary uh, Mouser is? Sounds familiar. Oh, okay. Didn't think I'd have to shoot a computer on here, but. Oh, yeah, yeah. The bullet pierced my damn thumb. Oh, oh wow. Right the side of it. It's not bad, but definitely wish it didn't happen. I mean, if this fucking thing could work, that wouldn't be an issue right now. Alright, now my, now my controllers do the same fucking thing. You know, I can either get hustling or I can just fucking break this thing. No worries. Ah, damn, everybody's coming on tonight. Yeah, I, yeah, I know, I see that. I, I can't. I can't wait for my birthday to come up. When's your birthday? Uh, a, um, April twenty fifth. Ah. Steve Carell is completed. Did you see, see that? Tr did you see the trailer for the crow today? Uh, not yet. It's definitely interesting. All right, next up, we're gonna do Denzel Washington. Equalizer uh, fences. He's in all sorts of good ones. Oh. 
Man on fire, training day. He did this one movie I've always really liked called The Bone Collector. Yes. That's a really Great. good one. Wow. I don't like the trailer. I like the other version of the trailer with Brandon Lee. You like the OG, the original? I d if so, I I definitely respect that. Wait, Denzel, you? I think you were showing us the other night. He was at the uh, Oscars. Yes, I was. Yeah. He did. Did not look like he was happy though. He looked like he knew he was losing the Oscar. Yeah, he, he looked like shit. He really did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the first crawl better. Yeah, I think the first one's definitely better. There's a steel book that I missed out on, which I hope there's like a second opportunity. Because it's the crowd's a really good ass movie though. Me too. Have you ever watched um on soft um um on soft um um mystery? Unsolved mysteries? Yeah. Yeah. I've heard of the show. I've never watched it though. I I, I love uh, uh Forensic Files. Love that show. Reminds me of the fucking Tourette's guy when he was making fun of it. Tonight on Unsolved Mysteries, find out. Who gives a shit about Bigfoot? Update! Apparently no one gives a shit, so fuck them. <laughs> that guy cracks me up. He was hilarious. My mom showed me to him, showed uh, him the new when I was seven. That, dude, the guy is fucking hilarious. I heard he died in a car crash in 2007. Is that accurate? I, I think I think that's probably just bullshit trying to get attention. Taylor Swift found We just sent an uh, autograph request out to t Taylor last night. Yeah, I, she's been all over my uh, my Google. I really don't want to see her. I'm not a big oh, fan of her music. Oh. Sometimes she can be all right, but other times she really needs to just cut the shit. And I love how there's, like, extremely little kids listening to her. And their parents are, like, like, thinking it's such an inspiring thing for their kids to listen to her. Yeah, you should listen to this, honey. Yeah, a woman breaking people's hearts just to write, write a fucking song that's going to get, what, 77 million views in two days? Because people got nothing better to do? Oh, yeah, well, that's society now. And I hate it. Me, me or my girlfriend, we're not Taylor Swift fans. Taylor Swift was just jealous that she saw Bob Marley got a movie, and she's like, oh, I gotta get one, too. Oh. 
Uh, who's who's going to be watching it? All the Final fans. Destination. Yeah, that's a great one. Yeah, Final Destination Bloodline. There's going to be a new one. Yeah, I saw that. That's I don't know what to think about that. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to see that. Sometimes those movies can have the stupidest, like, scenes, but it, it always cracks me up. All right, Denzel Washington is completed, so we're, we're going to do one more, and I think that'll be it for tonight. It is, what time is it? Almost 11 o'clock. Uh, this person actually did a private signing two years ago, and... I kicked myself in the ass big time for not getting it. Um, and start, starting to think that she'll probably never do another one, but that was Christina Applegate. Whoa. From uh, uh, Married with Children, Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. I want to say she did Bad, bad Moms. I can't remember, though. Bad Christmas. Uh, Oh, and she played a chipmunk in Alvin and the Chipmunks. So. I haven't watched one of those in so damn long. Nev Campbell is coming back playing Sydney again on Screen 7. I did hear that. Um, I don't know who the new director is. It's Originally, it was going to be uh, Christopher Landon, but I guess he canceled. So now he's not doing it. I would have loved to see his take on the series, but. Oh. Um. Hey, John, do you go to school at all? Ah, oh, fuck. I did not mean to break that. Now I need to. Damn it. Yeah, I'm more concerned about breaking a damn house I made in Minecraft than my computer. I mean, I'm really not too concerned about that. I can replace it. Oh. Nice. Oh, uh, can't, can't wait to go into high school in a few weeks or days or months. I don't know. Yeah, hey, that's going to probably... I'm probably going to end my life in that time period. Yeah, because today there's this new girl that's supposed to have been in for a while, but she hasn't, like, uh, attended any classes at all. Today was, like, the first day. And, like, at lunch, this fucking kid that goes to my school, uh, I don't even know if we're friends or not. His name is Malachi. And he kept, like, fucking looking at me like this. I said, you think you're Daryl or something? Then he's like, what? What? So you think you're Daryl? He's like, I, I, I wasn't even looking at you. What are you even talking to me for? Like, this kid is acting like he's some fucking badass in front of her, dude. I can fucking flatten him. Like, with a, like I don't even need a steamroller to flatten this kid. He's shorter than He's shorter than this water bottle right here. Take my word for that. I look like a twin. I look like the Twin Towers compared to him. Can't wait on April 6th and 7th. Cody Rhodes going to finish his story. Oh, uh, speaking of stories, I can't finish my story. Uh, again, 
I mean, I can just go to the library. I can use one of the computers. Isn't that what the computers of the library is for? Like, could you use it to write a book? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That's enough. The rock slap, Cody. You watch WWE? Hey, do you know that WWE is somebody else, Alan? <laughs> Are you aware that WWE is... Fake? Uh, yeah, yeah. Are you aware that WWE is fake? My mom is was one of the biggest WWE fans, and she was one of the to break it to me when I was younger. So I know it ain't bullshit because my mom is a huge ass fan. If she knows I anything, mean, my just, grandfather knows it's fake. He watches it still anyway, but he says the the, the thing that he likes about it. He says how how stupid that they act on the show. Yeah, it's just. Kind of dodging the question. The question: Do, Are you aware of that? Like, are you? I think it's April twelfth. I think it comes out April twelfth or thirteenth. I think I, I want to say it's twelve. Dude, this fucking series, uh, has anybody seen, heard about the Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson? We all know who's going to win. Mike Tyson. And you're watching Comcast, T Comcast Cable. I remember yeah, probably, watching those on my first. Yeah, you're really dodging the question. Don't worry, you're not the only person that does that kind of shit. The Dark Knight is one fucked up movie. Like, it is rated PG-13, and it is way more violent than Manchester by the Sea. And Manchester by the Sea is rated R. Yeah, fucking, um, The Dark Knight, Joker hangs a dude, uh, a guy gets a pencil stabbed right in his fucking eye. Like, where in the fuck, w what were the judges doing? Just sitting back in their chair? Smoking some fucking dope? Exactly. Like, oh, PG-13? Oh, that's good shit, PG-13. <laughs> because that, that does not seem like something that should be rated PG-13. Listen, I don't like sounding like a fucking baby about it because I love when movies are like rated uh, way more lower than... For like, like a lower age rating than it should be because that's even like that's like a bigger more opportunity of people my age group knowing what it is half of the fucking kids I know that don't even know who John Wick is and that's embarrassing yeah mm -hmm. I forgot to watch chapter 4 tonight I'm gonna do that tomorrow after I, I see Dune 2 Yeah, I'm not spending all my fucking. I will answer your question if you answer mine, there, sir. I'm giving you an un 
unskippable side quest. You cannot skip this quest. So that about wraps up my fan mail for tonight. So. Oh, okay. We did tonight. Tonight we did Charles Schiffer's, uh, PJ Souls, uh, Steve Carell, Denzel Washington, and Christina Appleby. Nice. That's cool. Look at all these, this I have to do. I still got all this. Wow. So, other ones I'll be doing. Um, I think that's Kate Winslet. I don't know. Uh, I just thought she was hot, so I printed it out. Justin Whaling. Again, I don't know. I thought she was hot. Um, I thought she was hot. <laughs> uh, Steve's on. Tamron Hall. Oh, here's a wrestler, John Cena. Um, I don't know. I thought this guy was hot. Um, no, I'm just about to say, um, Zachary Levi. <laughs> um, Zachary Levi from, uh, what's that movie called? Um, Shazam. I think this girl's name is Amy T. Garden. I don't know why yeah. I'm printing out stuff. I don't even know who they are. Um, oh, Lord, Lord, um, uh, Renee Zellweger, David Cross, Kelly Ram, I think she announced that she was pregnant, Devin Boswick, Toby McGuire, uh, a dude from Everybody Loves Raymond, I don't know what his name is. What is your favorite Toby McGuire movie? Spider-Man. My three. favorite, my favorite, hands down. I don't I like I don't think Spider-Man 2. I don't think any, anybody can beat this one. Any. That's the best one. Oh. My oh, mom. Wow. My mom got me into this movie. It like it's it shows you what happens in real life. Like when people do leave for the military and shit. Like he dies in the helicopter crash. So then his girlfriend hooked up with his brother. He came back home to surprise them and. Oh shit, Hellfire runs down. It's sad but true. Uh, Cal Penn, who's also in the movie Smile, along with a movie called Epic Movie. Um, again, I can't remember what this guy's name What the hell is wrong with me? I can't remember what his name is, but I know he was in Halloween H2O. Mm. Um, again, hot. I printed her out. I don't know. I like blondes. Um, Anthony Anderson. Uh, Gage something. I don't know how to pronounce her name. She was in that show, The Troop, in that Cabin Fever remake. Gerard Butler. <laughs> Ashley Judd. Um, Olivia Holtz <laughs> missed out on her private signing. Yeah. Um, again, beautiful. I don't remember her name, and yeah, I don't remember their names, but I think they're beautiful. That's cool. So, until I can figure out their names, I need to let my hand rest. Oh, oh and we're going to be doing this one at some point. Since I got Gene Wilder and Johnny Depp. I'm going to try to get the third one go. Wow. There's a girl right? still up. Oh. I did remember the one guy, by the way. I did remember what his name is. Let me find it. Uh, Josh Hartnett. That was his name. He was also in uh, 30 Days of Night. I haven't seen it, that looks, but that movie looks good. I have it. Yeah, right here. Ah, fuck. Fuck!
Yeah, right there. Yes. I, that one was the better one. I didn't like that sequel that came out. Um, I guess that about wow. wraps up the live for the night. My phone is dying, and it is 11.06. I gotta be up at 5 tomorrow. <laughs> All right. All right. So I'll be live tomorrow. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Yep. All right. Peace out. Peace out.